Hello guys, this is Delicious VB with another tutorial, and this tutorial is the third tutorial in my series, my beginner series, um, learning about all the stuff beginner needs to know to start learning Visual Basic. Now, if you saved it, which you didn't have to, um, but if you did save it, then it should look like this or something similar with a lot of controls now if you didn't save it it doesn't matter because I'm gonna delete um, the controls anyway except for the button and the label now this tutorial specifically this one we will be talking about event handlers events and simple lines of code so basically this tutorial will be getting into coding and how exactly it works with event handlers <clears throat> so first to understand event handlers you have to understand events events it's a pretty self-explanatory name events are when something occurs on the window having to do with this window so a popular event of this button is the click event obviously when the button is clicked um a popular event of this form this window is the resize event when the form is being resized so when the user does something one event is triggered now this event gets inputted into the exe file so the exe file gets the information that it's clicked or something happens and then it executes the code that's related to this event and in order to relate code to a certain event, you need to create an event handler. Now, these nice people over at Microsoft Visual Basic 2010 Express make it easy. In fact, they construct the event handler for you. Now, it's, it's probably more complicated than you think, but you can see um, this button. If you click on this little lightning strike kind of icon, you get all the events. Now, one event will be highlighted in blue. Now, first of all, don't try to figure out what every event is. Now, um, this event that's highlighted in blue is also known as the default event for this control. That's the default event for the button. Now, for the form, the default event is load. But you can see down here, now it's on, is it, see, load. Now, that's the default. But, nevertheless, um, this, when you double click on a control, the default event handler gets constructed so let's double click on this button and since the default event is click it's going to construct a click event handler now this ladies and gentlemen is the code page the coding page contains code um it opens up a new tab as you see and instead of saying form one dot vb and in brackets design it just says form one dot vb now it has this little star next to it because it's not saved. If you ever see this star, you have to know that you need to save it. Okay. Now, we see a lot of coding. And for now, um, just please, please ignore this part. Just, it's, just, just ignore it um, for now. I'll have a later tutorial, like tutorial 7 or something on it, or 8 on it, so ignore that. The important parts are private sub, sub button 1 click. Now you're probably like, well, what's a sub? To explain it quickly, a sub is basically an event. 
containing code. So you basically just say do this sub. Now instead of saying do this sub, we have a little handles thing here. And by the way, this over here, button one click, is the name of the sub. So if you create you can't create another sub with the same name and it's just a way to identify the sub. Now usually if this wasn't here then you could just call it private sub you could just say button one click and it will do anything that's in this in this little block between private sub and in sub so do any code that's in there it would, let's not go there um so next so you see though it says handles button one dot click so when the button is clicked it handles when button one is clicked now we know button one is this button my first button so it handles button one's click now let's add a new control and i'm gonna let us let it be the text box and Try it here, and I'm going to change the font quickly. You don't have to. It doesn't matter, of course, but I'm going to do it just because I don't like the default font very much. Um, So, this should be our new form, and in here, we type, let's type any text, dot, dot, dot. So, you see the text appears. Um, but now we're actually, now that event handlers are explained, we're going to go to simple lines of code. Simple lines of code, the ones that I will show you, the simple ones that I will show you, will do some, they will do something noticeable. But right now you're probably going to be like, well, that's stupid. It doesn't even have a purpose. Well, yeah, but it does something, and all I want to show to you is what this coding looks like, so you have an idea, because next tutorial, we will be getting into deeper coding. The tutorial after that, I'm planning to get into dialogues, which is some pretty fierce coding, and then, um... Um, after that, mm, I'll, I'm doing a tutorial about very, very advanced functions, pretty advanced, now, not like advanced, advanced, but like for, for a beginner's level. <sighs> after that, I will be talking about my settings, which... Of course, I'll talk about later. You probably don't know what that is right now. And then I'll talk about um, different stuff. So, anyway. We can now code the first line ever in our coding career. So, as you see, if you type something, things that you can type appear up in this little list here. Now this is really, really helpful, trust me. It 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 helps even the best of best coders do their work. Now text box one dot text equals now you probably there will be an error. You see the error comes up expression expected <sighs> just ignore that for now because I didn't finish the sentence. Now um, the, if, I know, I, I hate to relate this to math, but, you know, this is basically saying what equals what. Now, instead of saying something like three equals three, well, or an algebra problem, you know, why am I relating to math? I don't know. Um, it's going to change the text. So, text box one's text equals so now whatever comes after the equal sign after this equal sign will be what the text becomes so the text of the text 
of text box one becomes whatever. Now, I I kind of messed up. We're gonna say label one dot text equals, and then we're gonna say what does it equal exactly? Now we're gonna say text box one dot text. Now by using this after an equal sign it gets the text of text box one so what it's doing in this coding in this code in this line of code is it's getting text box one's text and making it label one's text now that's probably just the simplest line of code there is that actually does something now yes there's simple lines of code we're not gonna get so now you see my first window amazing now my first control you see this label now it's right now it says any text now if you click my first button label one six will become any text congratulations it worked now you can type in anything type anything whatever click my first button and it'll appear here so um yeah, that, that's that's probably a simple sign of code there is. Now, you can even fool around, and you can say button1.text equals that. So now, instead of changing labels text, we'll say something. You click here. This text becomes something. So a good way to learn a really good way to learn and it worked for me i bet it worked for a lot of people is to explore now every time i start learning something new whether it's a new language whether it's a it's a new feature of a language i always ex first i look on a tutorial what it does then i explore on my own with it so i see okay it does this it can do this oh whoa that's cool it can do this so i i just explore with it now you can add your own controls and most controls have text property not all but a lot of them do now um yeah you just created a real simple line of code and that's it for this tutorial um, so, yeah, like I said, make sure to explore coding and do different things with different controls. But do, don't get too advanced and confuse yourself. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. Um, make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. If Rate and comment this tutorial because I want to know your opinions. Um, remember, this is a playlist, so, you know, you can watch everything in a playlist. It's on my channel. Um, but... Yeah, th thanks for watching. Um, subscribe if you want to see every video when it comes out. Check out my website, deliciousvb.net32.net. Um, personal help is in the credits section. You can see the email. I'm not going to email account. I'm not going to um, say it out because like, it's, it's a really long name, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, that's it for this tutorial. I will see you in video three peace out